Before many journalists have even been to Xinjiang, they describe it as a place of hidden secrets, unjustifiably tainting it as a place of suspicious activity. Xinjiang is the province where the U.S. hosts China. After they do visit the region, they, as if it was already predetermined, claim what they have seen as being staged or is somehow untrustworthy. China is actively. This distrust, generated by Western media's distorted hyperbolic portrayal of their visits to Xinjiang, has escalated tensions and made landing an interview there increasingly difficult. In Xinjiang, four factories, including Dako New Energy, GCL New Energy, East Hope Group, and Xinta Energy, are expected to produce nearly half of the global polysilicon supply in 2021. Our film crew sought interviews from all of them during our trip, but only Dako and Xinta responded to our requests. <laughs> What these deceptive and manipulative reports do is sow mistrust among companies in Xinjiang. Western reporters are not giving their audiences the full and genuine picture, and so this makes the companies unwilling to let the reporters in. And so when Western reporters then claim secrecy, the vicious cycle continues. The only ones who get hurt are the people and businesses in Xinjiang. They've learned a lesson. Basically, if they open up again to journalists without any kind of control, then they're risking themselves to, to whatever story they want to write. 